artists who confront public taste should receive public grant support. This is because artists can, do, and should change cultural discourse with their ideas. For example, the Italian futurist poets and painters claimed that only the future had value, that the past was passé. In the early days of the 20th century, this was heretical to pretty much everyone. Yet today, we universally believe progress is our most important product. It is the job of artists to tell it like it is, no matter how ugly, violent, wrenching, and sad reality might be. The Otto Dix show, now on view at Neue Gallery, includes portraits of brains, guts, as well as prostitutes and wounded World War I soldiers. In the words of Karen Finley, I can't paint a snow scene. People may not like this, will attack works of art as obscene or in violation of community standards of decency. But it is these very challenging works, I predict, will be of lasting cultural value and influence. It is the problematic stuff that merits public funding if our democratic society is to be open to suppressed perspectives and politically unpopular points of view.